What's up guys? I'm just gonna make a quick video here and do a Zippo unboxing. I just got this in the mail today and uh, thought I'd make a quick video and show you. Um, you can probably tell by now I do uh, most of my new Zippos. I unbox them and show you already so I'm not really gonna be doing like Zippo updates and have like three new ones there. I'm just gonna, once I get them in the mail, I'm gonna unpack them and show you. So it's never gonna be like, I got two new Zippos. It'll usually just be one new Zippo and it'll be an unpackaging. So uh, the tool I'm gonna be using today to unpackage this, it's a little bit different. But I don't really know what it's called, but I wanna just call it the pen razor. Cause it's kinda like a pen and then it's got a razor blade on the end. I think this will be a great tool to open up uh, packages. And I guess we'll try it out. I haven't tried it before, so we'll try it on this box. Before I do that, here it is right here. I could clearly tell it was a Zippo and not my knife because it says right there. Try to focus in. That's pretty focused. Oh, it almost got it. Okay, well, you get the gist of it. Zippo there. This was from Los Angeles in the United States. So that is it. Let's go ahead and open this up. This is uh, the first zip I've got that's not been in a box, which is kind of interesting. Because every video I see usually, usually comes in a box. Wow, this is actually not all that good at all. This thing sucks. It's pretty razor sharp. That's kind of weird. I'll try again here. Oh, there we go. That one's a lot better. That one went a lot better than the first. Here it is. Bubble wrapped up just with scotch tape. This one actually, if I grab something quick here. This one here, if you hadn't seen my other unpackaging video, I got this, this uh, white box here. Um, that is the 80th anniversary Zippo lighter. I might make a video going a little bit in depth on that one because I think it's just wicked cool. But um, I got, I ordered this one this uh, later than I ordered this one. This one got here in two weeks. This one has been three weeks today, so. This one has took quite a long time, but this was, uh, once I got money from babysitting my sister on spring break, this was the first Zippo I bought. I loved this one. Uh, I don't know if I should show you the back tag or not. Uh, I guess I'll show you the back. At the top, genuine Zippo lighter, made in the USA. This is called the Zippo, 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 BR, standing for brass. Zippo Manufacturing Company, the address to that, and Zippo.com. Let's go ahead and open this up. Wow. There it is. Black Crackle, Zippo, 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 Brass Emblem. Made in the USA on the top, Zippo on the bottom. Let's take this out of its case. The suggested retail price is $29.95. On the back there, still got the orange sticker on. But when I just pulled it out of the box, it's loose up here. I, uh, On the description, it said that it was new, but that does not seem like it was new. It's displaced the sticker. They're usually somewhat in the middle. I think this got... Oh, look at that. The little price sticker just fell off, which is a shame. I wanted to keep that on. But since all these stickers are falling off, I guess I will just take the sticker off that and use it, I guess, or something like that. But here is the brass emblem. You can see it has all the Zippo fonts from the years, the Zippo bottom stamp fonts. I'll try to zoom in on that one. It's a little dark, so it might not zoom in good. Sorry about that, but this is uh, K11. Forget what month that is, but for sure, 2011. Uh, brass emblem, as I said before. It's got all the bottom stamps from over the years. 
The black crackle is surprisingly smooth. It's not as uh, rough as you'd think it'd be. I actually quite like it. It's just nice and smooth, nice good feel. Actually, this might be my favorite finish. That feels really nice in the hand. And you can see the emblem sticks out a little bit. Um, how they make Black Crackle? Well, they first made Black Crackle for uh, World War II. They uh, would get put a, the Zippo in uh, black paint, then they would put it in an oven, and that's why it's got the crackle kind of thing of it, because the paint would get hot and dry, and then it kind of crack a bit. So that's where they got Black Crackle, and they needed that for World War II, so the Zippos wouldn't be rusting, and they could have a reliable lighter. So that's why they got Black Crackle. On the back, I already showed you the sticker. Nothing on the top, nothing on the sides. It's just pretty standard, but that is just way cool. I'm probably going to use this as my EDC Zippo, maybe. I still got to get fuel. I do not have fuel for any of my Zippos yet, which is pretty embarrassing. I've had some of my Zippos for a couple of months now, and I just haven't got around to getting it. Like... I was going to order some off eBay, but then uh, I wanted to get one that was at a really steady price. But where my brother works, they sell Zippos, but I got to get down there one time. Because they do sell fuel, but I don't know if they sell Zippo Premium Fuel, but I guess I'll have to go down there and check it out. So, this is a quick little look. I guess I'll take the sticker off right now. I'll just fix this little price tag sticker in here. But, yeah, I'm pretty disappointed that... That sticker isn't uh, on there, right? I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a new Zippo. It kind of looks like he took it off. I mean, in the pictures on eBay, he was showing it open, but some of the time they'll show a dim for one open and then just sell, send you a new one. But obviously not the case here. So a little disappointed about that, but really, it's not the end of the world. So I guess I'll take this off here. Oh yeah, there's no stick to this at all. You can actually see a little bit of the black paint there and dirt. This has for sure been taken off the Zippo before. That's for sure not new. That, a little disappointing to me. We'll open this up. Wow, that is beautiful. It is not, it feels really weird opening it. It is not, doesn't sound like it has the... As big click as it usually does, I'll grab one of my other zippos and see uh, if there's a difference between that. I just quickly grabbed my white matte finish. Hello, my name is Zippo Lighter. I also took the sticker off that one since this was my first zippo I ever owned, so I had to take it out. But let's see if you can tell. Pretty loud click on that one. Wow, this one is a lot stiffer. I'm gonna try to open it full. See? There's that little click. That one seems a lot louder. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Maybe, uh, this black paint when it gets uh through the oven and stuff it's 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 thicker than the normal which would make sense but this one's a little stiffer I kind of like it it feels really sturdy black crackle smooth highly recommend getting that one it's another close up there just looks really really freaking cool I love that one and this is the white matte finish hello my name is conveniently my name is engraved in there and that is the end of my video, so thanks for watching, guys.